Good day, good day, and welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. How the honk are you today? Yeah, well, we've got a show for you today. That's right. It's going to be a long one, so grab a soft drink or some kind of cold beverage. Sit back and relax. And we've got a little special treat at the end. And uh, there's just one little clue. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, my buddy Time Rider over in Minnesota, he uh, did a video recently. And I'm going to put uh, a link to that somewhere up there, down here, wherever. But anyway, I got to do this model review today so I can open that package today and uh, show you what's going on. Uh, it was ever inevitable that we were going to do this, and uh, now's be no better time than later. All right, so what are we looking at? We are looking at the Land Rover 162nd scale, uh, introduced in 1975, the MB20B. And this is the number 20 police patrol. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to take a look at the base later on and in a little bit better condition or uh, better lighting, I should say. So anyway, let's start off by a uh, disclaimer. I am in no way an expert <laughs> on Land Rovers. That's why I'm doing this channel, because I want to know and learn more about Land Rovers. So disclaimer, if I miss something or if I misspoke, please Tell me in the comments below and let everybody else know something that uh, I missed or I, I misspoke about or misinformed about so the rest of us rover nuts know the facts. That's right. On that note, the place that I go to to look up uh, Matchbox stuff is BAMCA.org. Bay Area Matchbox Club Association, and they have a great database. And uh, talking about that, they have, they have, <laughs> they have recorded 142 variations of this thing. 142. Now, some of those are um, not here in the states. Uh, they did do rest of the world. There's three categories in that. There's uh, the United States, rest of the world, and then Japan. So there are some uh, three different regions that they cover. But uh, if you've got one, great for you. The neat thing is, out of 142 variations of this car, 70 do not have pictures. They have descriptions of all of them, but they are in need of pictures. So if you have one of these... And you go to their website and take a look at it. B A M C A, Bay Area Matchbox Club Association org, and you have a picture and you have one of these. Take a picture and you can upload the, your example for them for their database. So that's something kind of cool. So there you go. Post yours. Yeah, if it's not shown, they'll let you post something. Seventy are not pictured. Wow. But 142. Now, um, they did come. There's five, as far as I know, there's five multi-packs appearances of this in different variations, not just the police white. But a, there's five multi-packs that this, this uh, model came in. Um, it started its life out in 1975 and had a box. Yeah, it came with a box. And then later on, it went to the blister pack, as you see back there. But, uh, okay, well, let's just get started. Let's get started, because I can't wait till the end. you got to stay to the end, because i got some, uh, some, some cool, real cool stuff to show you. So we're going to quickly go through what I have. This is not in any, uh, other than the year of date, this is a no special order or anything like that. Uh, like I say, there's several models missing in between. What I am... I have right here is a 1975 white with the police uh, de uh, sticker on it. And as I see said before uh, in Matchbox World, these are what I call the envelope office stickers. Yeah, they are just a sticker that's stuck right on that bugger. Uh, beautiful detailing on this. Uh, we're going to take a little, little bit closer look later on in our uh, special uh, ending 
uh, footage, as you might say. But that is it right there. So, um, yeah, and they and they have uh, uh, special wheels and stuff like that. And we'll we'll see that. So this is 1975. Now, as you notice, there's already one variation. We're starting out the gate, and we already have one variation. Those police lettering are totally different. One is way big, and the other one is way small. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so you can already see that we've got a variation right out the gate. Now these are some of my very, very nice models, uh, examples, they're pretty pretty cool. Uh, so the next one that I have in the, the life and, and is a 1976 model here in a matte green. And uh, just a very nice, I love this color, very nice matte green. Now. Also, this has got a different style wheel to it. It's not the traditional. Most of them have this kind of wheel, if it'll focus. Yeah, I, I, can't, I don't know what that chrome one is called, but this one has got a different kind of wheel to it. And uh, still the same, uh, yeah, just a beautiful clear window with the orange beacon and unpainted base. Whew, yeah, I might have paid that. Uh, I didn't have them, so I got them. I got two of them that I bought, bought from one guy, and I think I bought everything he had Land Rover, and he might have gave me a deal. And uh, so, yeah, I never had any of these, so I might have paid that much. But beautiful examples. They were in pristine condition, so I don't mind paying 7 bucks for something like that that I, I don't have. Now, uh, funny story here. I did find some other ones. <laughs> I paid a dollar for this one. I don't know, it's garage sale or something, but somebody got kind of happy here and they painted the base black and they painted it green. I believe this is a, yeah, this is a white one that someone customized and made their own army truck in. But uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. And then I have another one. I believe this one's original. It's just older and uh, the the chrome base is dulled down this is the original enamel green uh, matte green so yeah with the clear window and the orange beacon so yeah that's that I believe is <laughs> for reals but just a rough shape so uh, the next one that I have in the timeline is this 1976 orange uh, site engineer it goes back with these uh, chrome wheels uh, with a chrome base. Now this is metal body, metal base. Uh, this is a nice enamel orange. I really like the orange on there. It's kind of cool. Uh, clear window with a uh, orange beacon. Yeah, pretty cool. I don't know if we can get that bugger to go around. Can you see that bugger go around? Well, anyway, so that's kind of cool. That's kind of um, one of the variations that I found. If you can remember that envelope sticker there site engineer it's kind of backwards this way site engineer one of the variations that they did have a picture on uh b-a-m-c-a -A, was this sticker was on this side so it was kind of neat that so there there's how uh variations go the next one i have is uh 1976 as well and this is a white version that enamel white clear windows orange dome with that uh, site engineer on there uh they've got chrome bases and you can just see how you know different lives different uh, oxidization there so uh very nice very nice models there very nice models there so that was uh 1976 and there you go all right so the next year um that I have is 1976 as well and you're like uh Dano that's the same as before well no not if you take a look at it together as you see the window in the first year was clear and this one is they call amber it's a little bit darker and I thought when I first got this I said wow you know it just sat outside because I, I think one of the older ones is what I got you know, it's like, oh, that's just, you know, just a clear one that's all boogered up, you know. No, 
no, it's a different listing on on the uh, BAMCA org. Uh, clear window, amber window. So that's uh, 1976. Another variation. Everything else is the same pretty much. So that's kind of cool. All right, we jump to uh, 1980. This is the next model year that I've got. So we went 76 to 80. That's quite a jump. But anyway, here we go. Chrome wheels, same traditional wheels. Metal base unpainted, white enamel with the uh, office envelope sticker, but with a blue beacon with a clear window. Pretty nifty, pretty nifty. All right, now this next model I found, oh man, I don't know where I found this one, but this is the state it was in. Look at those wheels, man. They've been played with. And once again, listed, whoa! Now that is some articulation right there. I don't care who you are, that's some articulation. Anyway, <laughs> smoked windows. Yes, there's enough. Um, I know this is really beat up. But as you look at it, you can see that the windows are all the same. You know, it, it's not dirty or whatever per se. It is a blue beacon with a smoked window. So very neat there. Uh, a good placeholder. I've got one. I didn't pay a lot for it. So that, that's kind of cool there. So yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat. The next one we're going to take a look at is this one here. Very flashy. This is kind of one of my favorites here. Um... This is going to be in 1981, so white with, they call this a checkered police uh, with a badge. But still that big old envelope sticker on there. Uh, clear window, blue beacon with a black base. Now here, this is where I'm going to stop and we're going to take a look at that base. It's a little bit easier to read. So matchbox, rollomatic, number 20. Police Patrol, made in England, 1975, Lesney product. So very, very cool. Uh, this is one of my nicer examples and, and one of the rare, you know, kind of rare examples. I don't know. I, I've never really seen a lot of these, so it's pretty cool. What did I get? Oh, I got a, I got the thing here, too. Police Patrol, Rollmatic, nine bucks. Yeah, retail price hit. Nine bucks. <laughs> All right, the next one that we're going to take a look at is this um, 1981 uh, sheriff, county sheriff. And uh, very interesting, very interesting. A um, couple of things that we're going to do. We're just going to take a look. Uh, first off, it, you know, uh, non painted base, white enamel, blue, uh, uh, a blue dome with clear windows. That's the basic. Once again, we've got that office sticker envelope uh, sticker on the side there. And then the top has got decos on it. Big old deco on the top and deco on the hood. Sheriff. Very, very nice. These used to be uh, kind of a holy grail for me. I was like, oh man, I got to get one of these. Then all of a sudden... Bam! I got a bunch of them. <laughs> and then I believe I got this one on eBay. It was on the card. Of course, the card, uh, half the card is missing, but we get an idea of what the card kind of looked like. Uh, no, really, no real dating on the back of the card, but uh, just kind of neat. Um, got the sheriff on the hood, and uh, you can kind of see some of the uh, uh, writing on the bottom there. Well, this one says 1980, so there you go. Uh, the One of the variations for this one is um, they, in later models, came out with the gloss black painted bottom, and some came without the sheriff on the hood, just on the roof. So that's, uh, you know, that's three different variations right there. I don't have any of those, but that's uh, that's some of the variations there. All right, moving right along, we have uh, our next model, 1983. This is another one of my faves, uh, probably because uh, Dakar on there, Paris Dakar Rally. Uh, Google that, that's kind of pretty interesting. But they call this beige or a tan. I, I like tan, but uh, beige. 
Uh, once again, now this has got the uh, gloss black base with the uh, office envelope sticker on there. <laughs> but then the security, which uh, is a decal or, or a deco, you know, it, it, it's you can't see the edge of it or anything, you know. Uh, clear window with a red beacon. Now, mainly they've been orange or blue. Now we've got a red beacon, so that's kind of cool. Um, so really, really kind of neat. Um, the other one that I've got, and I've got to show you here, is I got this from uh, Model Empires about four or five years ago. I traded him oh, a couple of banana boxes for all the Land Rover stuff. He's down in uh, Milwaukee. I believe he's still in business there, but Model Empire, $7.99, yeah. Uh, so this is quite an interesting thing. Um, BAMCA.org has no listings of this, so I, I might have to take a picture of this and uh, post it and see if they'll, uh, you know, credit me for uh, finding something a little bit different. I, I you know, this is an original, um, as far as I know, it's... Uh, very unique uh the back you you can see and uh, kind of zoom out here maybe a little bit and so we can see it a little bit better but you can see it's two carded cars uh just laid together and then it has the envelope of this uh stocking cap that you stick the cars through and then you fold it around to the back here and fold it in and then the, the top car shares the peg for the stocking. So this is a limited edition uh, Christmas offer from Matchbox. So as far as I know, this is the way it came. I don't know if you just could buy the sleeve and put your own in there. I'm not really sure. Like I say, I don't have a lot of uh, information about this. If you know something, let me know. And I, I don't even know if this is in the States or if this came across the pond and somebody's luggage and then they got rid of it I don't know but the neat interesting thing is is this uh, security rally Paris Dakar 83 model is one of the variations without the security on the hood so that's kind of cool uh, got a different uh, packaging and a different model so that that's kind of cool I like that all right so uh, moving right along here I just want to talk to you about some of my uh, nicer ones this is a very very nice example that i've got uh retail price is 10 bucks holy cow yeah i might have paid 10 bucks for that that that's a very nice very nice model but uh yeah pretty neat uh another one that i found uh i believe this was locally i i keep the receipts yeah yeah tomo antique mall that's a little ways away from me about a half an hour but anyway, uh, the reason I got this one, well, it's probably cheap because it wasn't uh, that nice a shape, but you can see that the rivet is still intact, okay? But you can see that it popped out its, its holders. Now, I'm sure that you could kind of, I mean, it's really popped out, and I'm sure you could get it put back in there and everything, but hey, this is the way I bought it, so I like to keep it that way, and I don't know... If they were going super fast and they uh, out flew their uh, beacon there, <laughs> I don't know, sonic speeds and the beacon couldn't hold up. But I've got quite a few of these uh, regular, like I say, I think this is the most popular here in the United States is this white enamel police one, uh, clear windows with uh, orange beacon. Uh, I've got a jammer back there full of uh, different ones. So talking about that, here we go. I've got one that um, I, I took apart. Yep. So we're going to dissect this baby. Take a, Now, this is kind of hard because I really took it apart. But uh, hold with me. If you're squeamish of heart and stomach, folks, this is the time to look away because we're going to open this up right now. All right. Oh, yeah. So you see the bobbles there. Uh, those are the mechanisms that make it work. We're going to put those aside for a minute. So here's the metal base. And, um, yeah, just a nice hardy duty metal base. I really like the grill work and everything that they've got there. Um, the back end, the bumpers are really nice. Uh, you know, like I said, you could uh, paint these uh, tabs in to make them uh, 
uh, same body color so they don't kind of stick out and then it's got uh, you can see that it's got the number 20 on there and then it's caught this what I call a wishbone suspension system <laughs> yep that's an original Dan O wishbone suspension system and uh, as you can see maybe you can uh, this is the uh, this is the top and now you see that the, the front wheel there has got a peg on it as well as the back wheel that makes it go round and round. And I think what they did and the manufacturer is they had one plane and one with a peg. And uh, they're just reversed. So all they had to do was make sure that uh, they were on the uh, wishbone suspension the correct way. So that's the way it sits. And then this is kind of the bottom. And it has those fingers that uh, would hold the axle in place and then uh, those were riveted onto the base with two rivets and I, I took this one apart I took the uh, wishbone suspension apart because I'll, I'll show you why in just a minute uh, so that that was the base there so that's pretty cool and if you're going to assemble these you want to assemble them with the uh, beacon in and then the uh, whirly gig part there uh, in and then and then sandwich them together so as you see that whirly gig part is right there with the top of the wheel well so the wheel would catch this part and make it go around and then we get it out again on the top of it would have a gear that would hit the bottom gear to the beacon all right so that's how that's how that worked that's how that worked right there there's the beacon piece and then it just had the windshield here. So let's just take a look at the inside here. Nice robust uh, post there. Um, and then the window just kind of slides out. There's no real uh, pegs or anything like that for it. Just kind of slides out. Now you can see that normally that the was uh, clear and they make the, the dome clear, but um, the windows, they texture to make it opaque even though it's got wipers and everything on it just to make it opaque so you can't really see the uh, the insides of it you know uh, just so that's really kind of it so there you go uh, very nice it's got some uh, extra ribbing on the side of this model very fun to uh, um, to customize the only thing about this is customizing is this uh, hole <laughs> in the roof I like the ribs, those are kind of cool, but I tell you, it takes uh, quite a bit to uh, sand off that uh, hole, fill it, and make it smooth again. Uh, just, it, it's a challenge, but it can be done. I'll tell you, just a little patience and, and the right uh, uh, stuff to do it. Uh, it'll be done. So here we go. We're putting that thing back together. Like I say, this is a little bit easier if you have the uh, wishbone suspension, um, uh, you know, glued in there. But oh, look at there! The magic of video, and I snapped that baby back together. All right. So let me show you why I took that one apart because I found out that. Um, let me check my notes here. Uh, there is a special one that I am looking for, and I, I just found out that um, there is one such like this. Uh, 1987, it's white, and it's the uh, Dakar Rally look. Uh, it's got this sticker on it, a uh, red spinner on it, but it has this style of wheels. Later on, Matchbox style of wheels. So, uh, if you if, if you're a Matchbox collector, you would recognize these wheels. So, uh, so I was starting to make kind of a custom there, but I wanted to see. I had a couple of trucks that had those wheels on it. I saw a picture there on the B A M C A uh, dot org. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the Bay Area Matchbox Club Association. So I, uh, I wanted to make some, so I found some good wheels, and I put it on there. So i I got to finish, uh, finish that there. So there we go. The next thing that we've got, I hope you people have uh, stuck around 
because it's come to that part of the uh, oh I gotta tell you the only other the real the real um, holy grail for me for this model is comes from Japan 1984 it's black and white um, with a black base and it's black and white and it's got three Chinese or Japanese characters in the middle that I'm assuming is says police but it's got a red beacon. I've seen it on eBay. I've I've bid on it, and of course it goes for big money. So then I don't get it. So uh, that's one of the ones that I'm really trying to look forward to, but uh, and try to get. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, um, yeah, like I say, this is Time Rider. I'm gonna put a link uh, to his video, and uh, a long time ago when Time Rider started out. Um, and he's one of the guys that, you know, got me to uh, thinking that I could uh, start a, a YouTube channel because he does great works. And someday I'll get into customization. Like I say, I don't have uh, uh, capability of editing right now. Everything is a live shot. Uh, anyway, I sent him a bunch of stuff, an ROAK, uh, and, uh, and I said, hey, in your great customization and everything, can you do me one of these up really nice, like? And uh, he obliged. And so he made a video of it and uh, just the other week or so. And now he sent me it, and uh, we're opening it up. As you see, I just cut this open and just opened it up. Beautiful packaging. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Time Writer. You're, you're, a, you're a keeper. I, I like you, guy. You're great. All right. This is going to be great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here it is. Oh, yeah. See, now he's done a great job. Got the base all done up nice. And, he, and he's uh, drilled and tapped the, uh, the base back together. Painted the base. Beautiful. Awesome. Beautiful. He's got that uh, the enamel white just perfect. The decals are perfect. The, those envelope stickers, I know they look simple, but they are hard to make, I'm sure. And Time Rider, you just nailed it. Dialed up the wheels for me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So there you go. If you like Time Rider's work, uh, leave a comment down below and check him out. He does a lot of Matchbox uh, Time Riders Wee Little Cars, uh, I believe is what it's called. I leave it, Like I said, I'll leave a link at the bottom so you can check him out. Thank you very much, Time Rider. And uh, also, thank you very much to all my new subscribers and everybody that comments. I really, really do appreciate it. The channel is growing. We are doing great. I think this is just awesome. And uh, I thank you, thank you so much. All right. It's come to that part of the show where we got to wrap it up. So, uh, wait, one moment. I got something to show you. All right, this is what I got to show you. I had, I had to pause for just a moment. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my first custom ever. This is, uh, oh, I don't know how many years ago, not that long ago, but I took one of these buggers, and as you see, my first uh, attempt and stuff like that, I... Didn't quite get the roof exactly the way I wanted, but it's a good start. And uh, my answer to those uh, windows is I kind of made um, a window tint. Uh, just a kind of a neat trick there, just kind of a chrome look window tint. But uh, at the time, these were kind of the matchbox wheels around that would kind of fill up those wheel wells because they're kind of big. But anyway... Uh, that's just kind of one of my first attempts at, uh, at, uh, doing a custom. Um, later on, I did another one and this is still a working progress and hopefully, um, I was really kind of happy with it, uh, until, uh, and we'll show you later. I made this. Yeah. And, uh, I think these are, uh, majorette wheels, but, um. And I didn't get it finished because I got, <laughs> well, there's a lot of reasons. But anyway, this is just, um, I made this canvas top. If you guys are uh, Land Rover and Range Rover enthusiasts, you recognize this. Uh, in the 70s, I believe it was, Land Rover was looking to do more um, 
military contracts. And the series Defender or the series Rover was kind of getting outdated. And so they were looking to update uh, and a Rover Land Rover was trying to find uh, a place to do this. So anyway, so this is this car. And um, uh, I don't have footage of what I did here, but there's uh, paper clips in there and uh, molding uh, material. I, I, you know, I can't really tell you it was just plaster or whatever. And then I uh, matte painted it. And that's where things went awry. I painted it green, masked it off to paint the top. And when I pulled the paint off, there goes my paint. So anyway... I'll have to go back to the drawing board, and then now that I've got things going back again, and I've got the Rover channel going, uh, we'll look at more about this. So, if you guys know what this is, and have seen it before, the prototype Range Rover uh, convertible for the military, uh, comment down below. Alright? Alright, well, that's going to be it for today. We're going to take a look at Time Riders again, because he does better work than I do. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for joining me today. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.